smoking of the doja Surfing on them couches, had me sleeping on the sofa Heard the end is coming, I'ma be here till it's over Never heard a single word the preacher ever told us Only verses you see me rehearsing was from Hover Having constant visions of a Beamer or a Rover Baby, I'm a dreamer, can't just settle for the quota Fighting every day, need a medal like a soldier, yeah Every day is like a mission All this pain that I've been feeling from this game is kind of sickening They don't like who I'm becoming, say I'm changing by the minute Staying out of all discussions, so they paint me as a villain, whoa Try to tell the people you can bank on me Hard to believe when the tank gon' E Think about a failure, do you think about me? Lord, set me free Took my losses, paid my dues Pray my coffin full of jewels Can't say I ain't try Set my soul on fire Took my losses, paid my dues Pray my coffin full of jewels Can't say I ain't try Sundown the sun up, my mama say you go too hard, you should give it a rest. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man George. Yeah, we're saying guys, how you living out there? Shout out to the free things, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on our Instagram, Def to Radio. Make sure you guys follow us there. It's a great way to support the channel. The information for Def to Radio will be in the description below. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop. Up becoming artists, man, you know what to do. Click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in the front of one of our up and coming videos. Get you some exposure. Or if you got a full song, man, we can get you hooked up on that as well, man. So all the information for those two things will be down below. All right, man. So we're getting back to this Mike Delete Later project from J. Cole, man. Name of the song is Pie. He got Ab Soul on here. Daylight, yeah. man. He got some heavy hitters, man. Yeah, man. He got some, he got some, some tough pins on some, here. Some really rapidy rap. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> he got some, some heavy hitters on here. And uh, shout out to everybody, man, that um, hit us up on Instagram. You know, it was funny. Like when this, this EP dropped, you guys were like... Yeah, yeah, after y'all get the seven-minute drill done, and, you know, once y'all get that done, shout out to everybody that watched that seven-minute drill mm -hmm. video. Make sure you guys uh, check that out. But many of y'all veterans of following Las Vegas knew we had to get that one done. He's like, well, once y'all get that out the way, make sure y'all check this this um, yep. this pie this pie track out. And I see why now. You know what I mean? Now that we're looking and we see Daylight and Ab Soul yeah, and man. J. Cole. Okay, now I get it. This is going to be some rap shit, clearly. Let's get to it, man. J. Cole, Pie featuring Daylight and Ab Soul. <laughs> So so for don't you agree? I do. Yeah. Is it a room full of, full of mirrors or a room full of Motown? I don't know. Shout out to Zordon. If you know, you know. Yo. Hey. The criteria for this tears just to open pride. Hoping cries, but so can I. I drop the unprovoking crimes. Pray to the heaven yeah, God right with there. no disguise. Oh, that is already. <laughs> already the criteria for this tier. Criteria yep. for this tier is just open pride, hoping cries. Mm -hmm. But so can I. Soaking eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your eyes are soaking from crying, right? Soaking eyes. But criteria. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm Hope cries. and cries. The, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just a lot of wordplay in that, there, man. But right in that little, Jesus, that little motherfucking <laughs> section right there, criteria. That was nasty. Let's 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 go ahead and start that already. Back. Already. So and so, for don't you agree? I do. Yeah. Is it a room full of? Mirrors or a room full of Motown, I don't know. Shout out to Zordon, if you know, you know. Yo. Hey. Man. The criteria for this tears just to open pride. Hoping cries, but so can I. I drop the unprovoking crimes. Pray to the heaven God with no disguise. We roll the dice and hope the soul of tie. Reap the fruit with no bow tie. Sensitive Pisces still thugging, baby. Ain't afraid to cry. Skinny biggie, lenses tinted, ain't got no lazy eye. Heart of gold, almost sold it in Saudi Arabia. Quill told me the clouds ain't real. God gotta paint the sky. So I'm a student of Sophia Stewart. The Matrix ain't a lie. Tainted gods far from the sky. Tie an inception. When you wake inside this dream, you a weapon, step in the cipher, know to be real. Your life at stake, ages with each meal. Real estate of mind, you need Damn. Rapidly, rap, 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 rap. 
Oh my God, man. Uh, well, I'm gonna go back up to that uh, criteria line too, man. The criteria for this tier is just an open pride, hopes and cries, but so can I. I dropped the unprovoking crimes. I feel like that line, I dropped the unprovoking crimes, brings that all together mm -hmm. because he's, he, it's almost like he's um, sad for all of the crimes that he's probably seeing, you know, like um, the criteria for this tier is for me to bring you the truth. And the truth is sad. You know yeah. what I mean? So I feel like just that little bit just says so much. It does. But then I want to talk about this Matrix line, man. What did he say here, man? So I'm a student of Sophie Stewart. The Matrix ain't a lie. Mm. Tainted gods fall from the sky. Tie in Inception. When you wake inside the dream, you're a weapon. That was tough. That was super tough. So for those of you that seen The Matrix, you know, you take the blue pill and you go, I don't know which one is which, the blue or the red, which one shows you the real world and which one you just kind of go back to storyland, the lie, right? And maybe he's saying that tainted gods fall from the sky when you see the world as it truly is. Tie in the Inception. I mean, that's shout out to Leonardo DiCaprio with the, the Inception. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. But um, I know that that was him kind of going into people's dreams of some sort. So... Uh, maybe to extract information, right? He's a criminal. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. When you wake inside the dream, right, which is tying in that Inception play, you're a weapon. Neo was a weapon in Matrix, and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was the weapon in Inception. So I feel like that's what he's saying here. And Neo was essentially awake inside the dream. Correct. As well in, in the Matrix, right? That's crazy, that was man. Ridiculous. You know what I mean? So maybe I, I think what he's trying to say there in the line, though, I mean, I just wanted to define how the, the, the Matrix and Inception plays into each other. But I feel like what he's saying here is um, tainted gods fall from the sky. I think that that's the, the line in there. Like, hey, beware of of what you think is the truth and what is really a lie. You know what I mean? Because things can be tainted. Right. And things can be placed inside your brain. Because I think and it, it's been a while since I've seen Inception, but I think um Leonardo DiCaprio took that information and uh, used it to harm people, right? You know what I'm saying? So they could use that information and place thoughts mm -hmm. and taint your perception yep. on what's really reality. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And make you, you know, kind of do things that you probably wouldn't have done if that wasn't placed in there. So I hope I'm defining that right. I feel like that line is so dense. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Beautifully done. And then when, you, when he says you a weapon... When you are awake inside this dream, you are a weapon. So when you are aware, I would think when you are conscious, yeah. when you are aware of the matrix, you can be a weapon. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you can be a force to be reckoned with because you know what's going on. And then he went forward with that and said, step inside the cipher, know the beef real. Your life at stake ages with each meal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So step inside the cipher, this, this rap cipher. Mm -hmm. And you know that it's real when you get here, right? These, when we're talking, when you're sparring, with lyrical giants, essentially. And then he said, your life's at stake and it ages with each meal. Mm. When he says your life's at stake, I think he's just saying like, you know, it's, it's your career could be at stake when you're playing with dudes like us lyrically. Yeah. But obviously, you know, stake ages when you age stake. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just a play on on um, the beef, mm -hmm. right? And he also stake and beef, the beef real stake. Yep. But even going back up there, man, when he said pray to God uh, with no disguise, we roll the dice and hope the soul unties. Reap the fruit with no bow tie. We pray to God in heaven with no disguise. I just think that's his way of saying that we're not putting up a front. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are, we are, um, come as you are, come, so speak. come as you are. We are mere yeah. mortals in the eyes of God, mm -hmm. right? We're not, there's no ulterior motive with that. It's just, a, I guess, purity with no disguise. We roll the dice and hope the soul unties. We do our best. We live, we try to live righteous and hope that our soul is, you know, unties. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's released, it's free. You know what I'm saying? And reap the fruit with no bow tie. Um, so I think the bow tie is kind of going back to no disguise. Like you're just taking off of the, 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 the disguise, the front, the suit. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what he's saying. I could be getting that wrong. But I just think he's saying reap the fruits of practicing your religion and honoring God and bowing before God without the disguise being in a way, without the front is how I'm taking that. I could be wrong, though. We got into the Matrix stuff, right? He said Quill, Quill is daylight. He calls himself mm -hmm. Quill as a pen. Um, like a pen. He said, you know, Absol was saying, Quill told me the clouds ain't real. God got to paint the sky. And then obviously after that, so I'm a student of Sophia Stewart. The Matrix ain't a lie. I just think, again, that's a way of him saying, you know, what you see isn't always what it actually is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, God, God got to paint the sky. Only yeah. God knows what's real. You know what I'm saying? And to follow God is to know 
what's real or just to have, you know, in, to be in service of God is to, is to know what's real is how I'm taking that line. You know, don't just believe what these politicians or these people in power, right, right that, that are putting these false images of what the world is in front of you, I think is what they're saying. Gold almost sold it in Saudi Arabia. Quill told me the clouds ain't real. God gotta paint the sky. So I'm a student of Sophia Stewart. The Matrix ain't a lie. Tainted gods fall from the sky. Tie an inception. When you wake inside this dream, you a weapon. Step in the cipher. Know to be real. Your life at stake. Ages with each meal. Real estate of mine. You need equity? Let the beat build. Poison in my cup. I need to refill. I feel it in my gut, you niggas meek still I inherit the earth Like three wise men pulled up to cherish my birth They placed me in the manger, wasn't that major at first But what a mess I leave, I'm the savior at work I ain't saying I'm Jesus Got the job of the Messiah, Ty and Joe, we block all devils Get y'all shovels can you dig it? We gon' riot if y'all pick it Sign of danger, oh we anger from our past, can't get past that we the last batch in the calls and stall. We got black facts. Grow a spinal cord or backtrack. The homies call me Batman. I'm the They went super crazy in all of that. Just now. Damn. With the back and forth. Yeah. Grow a spinal cord or get back. Track, you know, we the last fact with black facts. Jesus, yeah. Real estate of mind. You need equity. Let the beat build. So that whole real estate scheme, right? Real estate obviously is is uh, uh housing and stuff like that. But if you need equity, you have equity, you have profit in your house, but you need equity, you know what I'm saying? Let the beat build. You know, real estate of mind. So I feel like what he's saying there is if you um are not of sound body and mind, you need the knowledge. When he says equity, I think he's saying you need the knowledge. Let the beat build. You know, when you build houses, you know what I'm saying? Build up your equity, build up your knowledge. You know, let me help you. I feel it in my gut. You niggas meek still. I don't know if that's a meek meal reference there. I don't know. But Does meek have a gut now? Oh, maybe. <laughs> does is he, does maybe, he have a gut? Maybe. But you dudes meek still. I would inherit the earth. Meek will inherit the earth. That's a famous quote from uh, the Bible, right? Like three wise men pulled up to cherish my birth. The mm. three wise men, that's the story of Christ, right? They placed me in a major, wasn't major at first, but what a Messiah leave. I'll leave, right? What a mess I'll leave, but Messiah, you know what I mean? As, as Jesus was the Messiah, you know what I mean? I'll save, I'm a savior at work. That was tough. But I ain't no Jesus though. So that whole scheme and how he, uh, that biblical scheme crazy. is crazy, man. Like I inherited the earth and he's, he's drawing parallels to what I believe his mission is, him and Daylight's mission is as far as to lead the people right. down, you know, a greater path. Like, like three wise men pulled up to cherish my birth. They placed me in a manger. Wasn't that major at first, but what a mess I leave. I'm a savior at work. Cause so he's saying, like, I look at myself as I'm trying to save the people. I'm a savior at work, similar to what yep. Jesus is supposed to be, the savior of the people, right? But I'm going to work right now, you know? I ain't saying I'm Jesus, got the job of the Messiah, Ty and Job, we block all devils. I'm not, just, I'm not catching the Ty and Job. I don't know if he's saying Job from the Bible. But basically the point is, you know, man, they're blocking devils. They're blocking right. all the, mm -hmm. what, what, whatever that may be, that may be false teachings, um, you know, uh, miseducation, whatever, you know, whatever that is. Get y'all shovels. Can you dig it? You know, so can you, do you get what I'm saying? Yep. But get your shovels. Use mm -hmm. a shovel to dig, obviously, as well. We gonna riot if y'all pick it. Sign, sign of, of a danger. danger. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, you use picket signs mm -hmm. to riot, right? We'll riot if y'all, if you, if y'all with us, then let's, let's get, let's That's get it you going. you wanna go. Right. Sign of danger. So, but riot signs, right? So he kind of continued that on. So picket sign of danger. Oh, we anger from my past. Can't get past that. We the last batch in the calls and stall. We got black facts, grow a spinal cord or get back track. Mm. So that's just that. That's just like from that battle rack cough right there. When yeah. that, getting into that kind of mode. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We the last batch. I think they look at themselves as sort of the last of a dying breed, right? You know, they look at themselves as like, your saviors at work, right? Like kind of like Abs Absol said, with black facts, with black consciousness, you know, to help lead black people down, you know, a greater path, right? And either get it or either get down or lay down is mm -hmm. what he's saying by grow a spinal cord, grow some balls, grow a spine and join a cause or get backtrack or backtrack or get the fuck out the way. And I also think um, when he says we anger from the past, it could mean slavery and how yes. black people was treated as well. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and either either you with that or you not, you know what right. I'm saying? So uh, and they can't crazy. get past that, right? Can't right. get past it. Can't right. get past the past because the past is still affecting the present, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We can't get past that. So we need to either ride and come together or get out the way. So yeah, very dope. Block all devils. 
get y'all shovels. Can you dig it? We gon' riot if y'all pick it. Sign of danger, or we anger from our past. Can't get past that. We the last batch in the calls installed. We got black facts. Grow a spinal cord or backtrack. The homies call me Batman. I'm the African Ben Affleck. Publishing some other shit like it's something up with ass cap. It's training day. Don't get your ass capped. Javanchi snap back with the rhinestones. You ain't never had that. Was that sax fifth with dough? That's a double entendre. Everything I say is dope. Is this a microphone or a contra? Bands in my pocket. See what they told Malcolm X to do with his hands. That shit was out of pocket. Picked up shotguns that came in handy. Wasn't no plan B. Kid gone. Who could fuck with him? Knew them shots would muzzle him. Knew the blocks would puzzle him. Lego stupid because of him. Shells falling like Nuffalum. Kill Gamesh, who could fuck with him? <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. That was uh, very perfect to put that there. What do you say, man, after the Batman line? I'm the African Ben Affleck. He said, publishing on some other shit. Like, is there something up with ASCAP? ASCAP is, you know, uh, one of the, the publishing uh, companies for musicians, right? You know what I mean? But is there something up with that? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm publishing on some other shit. You know what I mean? I'm doing something different. Then he said, uh, it's training day. Don't get your ass capped. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Shot me in the ass, Jake. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You motherfucker. Referencing the movie Training Day. <laughs> yep, yep. Denzel, you know what I'm saying? Got yeah, shot in the ass. Yep. Then he said, picked up the shotguns that came in handy. There wasn't no plan B. Kid gone. <laughs> Malcolm X, you know, get, get your hands out of my pocket. Uh, that's a famous line. That shit was out of pocket. So what they do, when someone says that that shit was out of pocket, they wronged him in some way. That was wrong. That was foul. You shouldn't have did that, right? But get your hands out of my pocket. That's a famous line from Malcolm X. Uh, picked up the shotguns that came in handy. No plan B. No, when people say I ain't got no plan B, this needs to work. Whatever you're talking about has to work. There is no plan B. Right. But kid gone, you know, plan B, you know, you guys take a plan B, you know, well, females take a plan B when, you know, plan A didn't work out. And I'll let you uh, insert what plan A is. But also kid gone, not only did you take a plan B so you didn't have a child, kid, that, the kid gone meaning he's dead. Those shots would muzzle him, meaning we took care of it, you know what yeah. I mean, on some violent shit. Knew the blocks would puzzle him, let's go stupid because of him. This is coming up, coming off of Muslim, uh, Muslim right? Mm -hmm. Muzzle him. Um, Lego, I think is when he was rapping. I think he said Lego, but he said, let's go stupid because of him. Legos, blocks, right? So there's there's a tie-in with Lego blocks. But new to blocks would puzzle him. He's yep. talking about blocks on the, in neighborhood blocks, right? And maybe they're puzzled and maybe lost in those, in those uh, we're lost on those blocks, right? I think it's all tying into Malcolm X being killed. Like shells falling, like, like Nephilim, right? You know what I'm saying? Shells falling, like gun shells. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Gunplay. Gilgamesh, who could fuck with him? I think that that's like a deity, Gilgamesh, or whatever the case may be. But let's go stupid because of him, because of the death of Malcolm X, I think, or how that ended, how he, how he was muzzled, someone that was supposed to be a revolutionary figure. You know, let's go stupid because of that. Let's start a riot, going back up to when they were talking about rioting and revolutionizing yeah. and having sort of a revolution being present, I think is what they're getting around to. Kid picked up shotguns that came in handy. Wasn't no plan B. Kid gone. Who could fuck with him? Knew them shots would muzzle him. Knew the blocks would puzzle him. Lego stupid because of him. Shells falling like Nuffalum. Gilgamesh, who could fuck with him? Oh, y'all thought we was done with him? <laughs> y'all must be stupid. We finna go oh, dumb on them. Yeah, Just keep yeah, your yeah. ears open like Dumbo and them. Good luck to them. It's up for them. Piece of the pie edge. We gon' crumble them. 314 on a guy head when we rumble them. <laughs> on second thought, that's enough for them. All right, wait a minute. So that's, so that's enough. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we hit him upside the head enough. That's enough. Yeah, that, that was nice. <laughs> right? Keep your ears open like Dumbo and them. Dumbo's an elephant from mm -hmm. the Disney the Disney uh, Dumbo. Um, movie. Dumbo. You know what I'm saying? But keep your ears open. He had big ass ears, right? Uh, and then he said, piece of the pie edge, we're going to crumble them, right? We're going to crumble them, basically. So he's talking, he's talking about the, 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 the edge of a pie that has mm -hmm. crumbs and all that other stuff on it, right? 314 on a guy head when we rumble them. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's a reference to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wasn't it 314, right? I don't know if you... I don't remember that. Yeah, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin was a, a, a wrestler that rumbled, right? That's Royal Rumble or whatever the case may be that had... Uh, then I think he crushed beers on his head, Austin 314. I think that that, that was, was his thing. Ball. But also 314, the, the, the song is called Pi. And we know that the formula for Pi is, is 3.14, right? Mm -hmm. So I think they could also be saying... Um, 
they're all on this guy's head. Three fourteen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me, the the crew. Daylight, maybe, and also Pi is and kind of circle. Rep- right. Pi is representative of the the sort of circumference of a circle. So maybe Daylight, um, Absol, and J Cole. We all are, around. We all around. We all we on this guy's head. Meaning we we on your ass with the lyricism and all this other stuff, right? But I I'm not sure about the Stone Cold thing, but I think there's a Stone Cold tie in there when we rumble them as well. And then he said, then they said it's enough of them. So just wanted to kind of finish that out. So yeah, this was uh, this was a crazy. That was verse. enough. Yeah, that was enough. <laughs> Y'all must be stupid. We finna go oh, dumb on them. Man. Just keep your ears open like Dumbo and them. Good luck to them. It's up for them. Piece of the pie edge. We gon' crumble them. Three fourteen on a guy head when we rumble them. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, that's enough for them. Right, you gotta chill. For the land where they spraying pellets and turning your mans to an angelic being and freeing him from this crammed hellish hole. The weather's cold from jealous souls that fan fellas. I dance as well as Chris Breezy when the bullets start straying careless. I won't let him switch cheese me. Got plans that I can't fell at. Seen plenty bodies trembling, resembling cam reddish, so full of potential, but never given a real chance to develop. My head envelops the pen. These ain't fan letters I craved. His album dropped, it was trash. I litter it like I can't spell it. It's you a demon or Yeah. <laughs> He's carrying that elite. That angelic. You know what I'm saying? Them, that syllable work was real nasty by Cole, man. Yeah, man. He said, prayer hands for the land where they spraying pellets and turning your mans to angelic, being and freeing him from this cram hellish hole. The weather's cold from this jealous souls that fan fellas. Mm-hmm. Nasty work right there, yeah, man. man. Nasty syllable work there. And then he went into, I dance as well as Chris Breezy when the bullets start straying careless. I won't let him switch cheese me because I got plans that I can't fell at. Um, I, I think what he's just saying there is when, when bullets starts flying, I, I turn into, I can I can dodge bullets like the Matrix. I'm like Chris Brown out this bitch. I Because, you know, Chris Brown is a good dancer. I think that's just what he's saying. But um, also, I can't, I've got so many plans that I need to do this. My work is not done. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I can't let something like this take me out. You yep. know what I mean? Because I got so much more work to do. But then he said, seen plenty bodies trembling, resembling Cam Reddish, so full of potential, but never given a real chance to develop. It's interesting that he chose Cam Reddish, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't he a, a, a NBA star, well not star, NBA player that came uh, out of college that didn't really get the chance to to play as much? Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. for New York or something? Yep. Cam Reddish played for the Knicks, and Michael Beasley is, is someone that Cam like Reddish reminds me of. Like, he's a player that people thought had a lot of potential. He's a good college player. Just mm-hmm. we Hoopers know that they can hoop, mm-hmm. but Hoopers don't. Being able to hoop doesn't always translate to, you know, a standard standardized NBA basketball, you know. So he was never really given a chance. I think he was under Thibodeau. Wasn't really given a chance to to really mm-hmm. shine in many people's opinion. And he just, you know, it's unfortunate. It's like wasted potential. So getting to where, where Cole meant by that, mm-hmm. right? There's a lot of lost souls out here that were full of potential, like Cam Reddish. They just mm-hmm. left, left trembling mm-hmm. because they never got a chance to develop. He's just taking it to... You know, uh, lost souls being killed senselessly, yep. you know, on the streets, right? Seeing plenty bodies trembling, resembling Cam Reddish. Just not never, uh, you know, just wasted potential. His album dropped, it was trash. I litter it, I can't spell it. <laughs> so when you're illiterate, you can't spell, right? But if some, he's saying his, the album was trash, this person's album was trash, you, I'll let you guys play with who he's talking about. But um, when, when, when he says it's trash, I litter it, I throw it away. But illiterate, I can't spell it. That's a yeah. cool little uh, wordplay. Yeah, I gotta give Drake some credit though. You know what I mean? Y'all dudes drop trash, y'all littering. Remember, <laughs> I forgot what reaction, I forgot what song that was on, but Drake had, I've seen that line a few mm-hmm. times. Jealous souls that fan fellas. I dance as well as Chris Breezy when the bullets start straying careless. I won't let them Swiss cheese me. Got plans that I can't fell at. Seen plenty bodies trembling, resembling Cam Reddish, so full of potential, but never given a real chance to develop. My head envelops the pen. These ain't fan letters I craved. His album dropped, it was trash, I litter it. Like I can't spell it. 
Is you a demon or is that demeanor for the gram? Tell us, they plead the fifth. I'm seeing hints of a trans fella. In cancel culture's vicinity, he's no killer, trust me. Beneath his chosen identity, there is still a pussy, period. Blood spilling monthly, rather weekly, as a myriad of bodies drop. When bricks get karate chopped to maximize the dojo, comprende? I wonder, will my friends make it past the pearly gates so we could kick it? But based on what their sins say, probably not. Hit lick after lick like a lollipop. You niggas Take a lie, detect the polygraph, or probably pop. You yeah, know my rapping, zone. Man. I live okay. here. Cole, Cole was rapping oh on that stuff. God. Yeah, buddy. I uh, knew about that line, though. The whole uh, transgender line. Yeah, that was been floating around in the day. I knew about that when we um, hadn't even got to seven minute drill oh, yet. That okay. was just kind of, okay. you know, me sent to us. Y'all be DMing us, be telling us a little bit too much, but. I mean, we appreciate, you know, because we do need to be caught up. Yeah, I, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. hard <laughs> because we want y'all to kind of keep us caught up on on things because we're not always caught up on the happenings or what's going on in um in hip hop. So some of you guys, we have a few people in particular on Instagram that really send us a lot of, yo, y'all might want to look into this so y'all understand what's going on when you do the reaction. But sometimes it spoils the reaction at the same time. So anyways, I did know about that that trans line when he said, is you a demon or is that demeanor for the gram? Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us they plead the fifth. I'm seeing hints of a trans fella in cancel culture's vicinity. He's no killer. Trust me. Beneath his chosen identity, there's still a pussy, period. Mm. Then he kept going. Blood spilling monthly. You know, period. Blood spilling mm -hmm. monthly. I know that, that the cancel culture is a real thing. And I know that um, that there's a lot of ignorant people out there, man, that um, say stupid things about everybody. Not just gay people. Not just transgender people. Not just black people. Not, I mean, dude, that... The gamut of stupidity is very, very vast. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, I'm here to say that I don't care about any of that. I don't associate with people like that. I am just going to try to define the bar of what I think he means. So when he says, are you a demon demon, or is that your demeanor for the gram? I think that's very self-explanatory. I think he's saying, are you just putting on a front for in front of social media to get likes or whatever the case may be? When he says, I see the pussy, I still know underneath that big facade Come on, man, you still soft. If you are a uh, trans person, whether you are originally a man or a woman, in this case, you're originally a woman choosing to be a man in this uh, example, but he still sees the pussy, he still sees that you're still a woman, is what he's saying. Regardless of what you, whatever chosen uh, identity you choose to say, I identify as a man, but do you still have a vagina? That's what he's saying. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's where the controversy lies. Correct. Right? You know what Correct. I mean? And I'm not saying that that's uh, right. All I'm saying is I'm just trying to define the line. Yep. And then when he says pussy, period, you know, when you when a girl has a menstrual cycle, she bleeds. That's they right. call it a period as well. You know what I'm saying? Monthly, spilling, spilling monthly, spilling you know. Spilling monthly. You know what I'm saying? Or weekly, you know. Menstruation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? So that was a nasty line right there. Right. Though. Rather weekly as a myriad of bodies drop where bricks get karate chopped. So there's a, there's a whole... Um, uh, like sort of uh, sensei sort of karate scheme thing going on here, right? Where bricks get karate chopped. If you think of karate, they chop bricks in karate, right? Mm -hmm. But he's talking about drugs, bricks, uh -huh. a kilo of cocaine to maximize the dough, Joe, to maximize the money, Joe. And Joe is slang for like, dude, yep. you know what I'm saying? But a dojo is where people who, you know, karate, karate, where they practice karate, right? It's the, the place where they practice karate. Comprende, do you understand? I wonder where my friends, will my friends make it past the pearly gates so we could kick it. So we're still talking about karate chopping, kicking mm -hmm. it, right? Karate scheming there. Uh, but based on their sins, on what their sins say, probably not, right? So based on what the, the atrocities his friends have committed, the sins mm -hmm. that they committed in their life, they probably won't make it to the pearly gates. They probably won't make it to heaven is what right. he's saying. But, but he's also saying sensei is like a master of karate, mm -hmm. right? A teacher, a karate teacher, right? So there's a a whole little karate dojo and all that, that scheme. Nasty. That was nasty. But he's 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 weaving in, you know, I mean, what real yeah. shit about his life and where he comes from in that. And also kick it. I didn't like define kick it. Kick it means hang out. If we could kick it, if we can hang out, mm -hmm. just want to kind of add that in there as well. As the dojo comprende, I wonder will my friends make it past the pearly gates so we could kick it. But based on what their sins say, probably not. Hit lick after lick like a lollipop. You niggas take a lie to tech the polygraph or probably pop. You know my zone. I live here at the top right now. I'm home alone. Macaulay cot. I keep the shoddy cock in case somebody plot to rob me of this godly spot. Jermaine monstrous. Like that nigga off Jumanji. They know how he rock. Yeah, it's just All a these lot. body. I just want to point out the, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just the syllable usage, man. The cadence, right? 
you know, my zone, you know, he said, uh, you know, hit, he started with the lollipop shit, right? Probably Actually, not. probably not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Based off what their sins say, probably not. Hit lick after lick like a lollipop. A lick is basically like a jux, like a, uh, a way to get, a quick way to get money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hitting a lick, but you lick a lollipop, right? Mm -hmm. But the, the, in terms of just the syllable usage, right? The cadence that he's in, hit lick after lick like a lollipop. You dudes take a lie detect, lie detector test, a polygraph, a probably pop. Which means if you took a lie detector test, it would show that you lying like a motherfucker. Yep. You guys are liars is what he's saying. Yep. But again, probably pop, lollipop, probably not. Right now I'm home alone, Macaulay cop. Yep. But he said home alone as in, you know my zone, I'm at, I'm here at the top. I'm home alone. I'm at the top by myself. There's no competition. Right, like Macaulay <laughs> cop. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Macaulay Calkin, who, who was uh, the star of the movie Home Alone. Right, mm -hmm. but again, Macaulay cock, lollipop, probably not. I keep the shot at cock yeah. in case somebody plot to rob me off this godly spot. You know what I mean? Like that dude off Jumanji, you know how he rock, right? Yeah, uh, you know the rock played in the new, the new remake of Jumanji. Yeah. But you know how I rock though. Mm -hmm. You know how I give it up. You know how I give it up. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm the dude. You know I'm the man. Anyways, yeah, had to point that out. That was nasty. Yeah, though. let's keep it going. Comprende, I wonder will my friends make it past the pearly gates so we could kick it, but based on what their sins say, probably not. Hit lick after lick like a lollipop. You niggas take a lie to tech the polygraph or probably pop. You know my zone. I live here at the top right now. I'm home alone. Macaulay cot. I keep the shotty cock in case somebody plot to rob me of this godly spot. Jermaine Monstrous, like that nigga off Jumanji. They know how he rock. All these bodies I done caught, I should probably stop Nah, fuck that, I willingly venture Into a den full of lions on some killer be center A funeral home facility to test my ability with this thrilling agenda But it's hard to meet my match when my raps ain't really that tender Since birth, the kid knew his worth Never wallowed in sorrow, the game he dispersed in these verses Bring a gilly potential, a milli from pencils Never will my ability cripple Now please, hold your L like you got in Philly's young center Quick to leave a chick curb it's only one of me, but bet it's like six hers in my mobile device. You feel the motive in these quotables, right? Cold is the nicest, but ain't shit about these vocals. Polite, focus alike, bifocals while I'm walking on tight ropes from a height. You folks will only get the scope from a flight. How many verses of the year this year is cold gonna write? I want to say something. Let me, let me, let me. Fuck all that, stop it, I can't wait. This shit carries out. Y'all know the beat. It carries yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out to the production. Yeah. I do like the production. <laughs> I just wanted to get to the shits. There is a clear separation in technique in this, I think. I'm going to keep it real, and I love what Daylight and um, mm -hmm. Absol did. But Cole was on another level when we're, when we're talking about cadence and syllable yeah. work in this, man. It was just different in this. Now, lyrically, in terms of meaning of lyricism, that's a different story. They both did their, all three of them did their thing. They did a great job. But I think Cole, I told Ryan when he was rapping, I was like, yeah, he had a point to prove mm -hmm. with making sure that he added Daylight and Ab Soul on this. He wanted to let y'all know, I can run with yep. the Lyrical Titans. Yeah, I can, I can get, run with them. I can them, get with them all. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about who's better, but I can just run with them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's all. Like, I can hold my own with these guys. I agree with what you said, man, because this line right here, I feel like, says that. He's all, to test my ability with this thrilling agenda, but it's hard to meet my match when my rap's really aren't that tender. I feel like that line right there encompasses the point you were trying to make. Like, dude, I can hang with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Test my ability, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with a thrilling agenda, he's all, but you know, it's hard to meet my match because I'm, you know, obviously match and Tinder. Tinder is a dating app, right? And match is a dating app, right? And you match people in on those apps, you know, um, to meet people. But he's also saying that it's hard for me to meet my match in this rap game because I'm not, you know, my raps aren't soft. My raps aren't, you know, um, uh, for everybody. You know what I'm saying? My raps are just on a different level. I feel like that that line really encompasses the, the point you were trying yeah, to make. Man. I could do so much with this rap game. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. He said, I, I will willingly venture into a den full of lions on some killer be sent to funeral home facility to test my ability with this thrilling agenda. Just to add to what you said, yeah. Ryan. I will willingly venture into a den full of lions. <laughs> I think I think he's thinking of uh, daylight and ab soul. Like, yo, I'm I'm with some killers right now on this track. Lyrical, mm -hmm. lyrically speaking, like some killers on this track right now, man. I'm willing. I'm willingly going to like test myself against these guys to let people know that it don't matter, man. I can mm -hmm. do a song with uh, the dude from Japan, or we can we can we can get gritty, right? We could take it to you know uh, working alongside or or getting on a track with lyrical powerhouses, and I'm still. 
you know what I'm saying, going to be able to hold my own. This is a thrilling agenda. Mm -hmm. I, like, this shit, you know, I'm, I'm getting up for I this thrive shit. for this I shit. I love this shit, <laughs> you know? Now, please hold your L's like you guard in Philly's Young Center. Quick to leave your cur your chick curb. It's only one me, but it's like six hers. <laughs> that was hard, though. That so now, hard. hold your L's, right? Jo Joel MB, right, is, is uh, Philly's, you know, center, right? But hold your L's. Like, you know, take this L. You know what I mean? I'm gonna kill you on this lyrical shit. So hold that. Hold it like a crown. Hold it like uh Wear that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Quick to leave a chick curved, right? I'm talking about, you know, I'm, you know, I'll leave. You know, when you say you curve a chick, man, you you know, you're not taking them seriously. You're like, man, I'm out of here, man. You you curve them. You know what I'm saying? Love them and leave them. You know what I'm saying? Them, no. Because it's only one of me. So I'm the most important, right? But it's like six hers, right? Hard. Sixers, right? Like the uh Philadelphia Sixers, right? They call the Sixers. Dope. But it's only one of me. You know what I'm saying? So I could curve a chick, no problem. She ain't getting... Mm -hmm. It's only one of me. She ain't getting another Easily me. replaceable. But I, I can get plenty of hers. Since birth, the kid knew his worth. Never wallowed in sorrow. The mm -hmm. game he dispersed in these verses bring a gilly potential mm -hmm. of Millie from pencils. Never will my ability cripple. So he's referencing million dollars worth of game with wallow mm -hmm. in gilly right yep. you know what i'm saying but he's saying i never wallowed in sorrow i never yep. felt sorry for myself yep. you know the game he dispersed in these verses will bring a gilly potential and a milli from pencils he made a million off of just writing is what he's saying i made a million dollars from just writing off of pencils never will my ability cripple so i love the way that he incorporated uh gilly gilly the kid you know i mean and wallow are both hosts of the show million dollars worth of game just to kind of clear that up i'd like to know what eminem thinks of this the syllable work that j cole did in this because i'm getting that in a lot of what he was doing here right even the way he ended the song or ended his verse rather in my mobile device you feel the motive in these quotables right cole is the nicest but ain't shit about these vocals polite focus and light by focus while i'm walking on tight ropes from a height you folks only get the scope from a flight. The, the syllable usage, like even if he wasn't saying that much there lyrically, right. there's also the other aspect of rap, which is you know piecing up them syllables as well right. if, when you can. Was really impressive, man. So that was dope, man. From a you know actually him having actual mm -hmm. bars and punches and metaphors in there and scheming. He schemed in that. He had great syllable work in that. Had some metaphors in there as well. Like he was you know he was really rapping his ass off and he definitely held his own with two lyrical titans from Daylight and Absol. They all did their thing. Yeah, man. You know I mean? We're going to go back through that, though, man. I noticed some bars that we wasn't catching up, we wasn't quite sure of. Shout out to all three of them. Love mm -hmm. the beat. The beat was a smooth ass, like a 70s R&B joint or something like Cool in the Gang or something. I don't know, like something like that. Uh -huh. Had a smoothness to it. And I enjoyed it, man. That's another one that I like. You know what I'm saying? That uh, That's off this mic delete later. Let us know what else y'all want yeah, us man. to do, man. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you guys follow us on our Instagram, Def to Radio. That's in the description below. I'm George. That's Ryan. Las Vegas. We, we out. out.